Hi everybody, uh, I'm so excited to have everyone here today coming from Graphic 45. Um, I hope you like my project. It's this fun stacking trio of um, circular boxes and inside there's a porcelain tea set that I made for my daughter that I altered using Graphic 45's um, botanical tea. So first of all I just want to say thank you to everyone from Graphic 45 for having me on this um, spotlight. I'm so excited to be here. Who doesn't love Graphic 45? Um, their papers are amazing. This is the Botanical Tea Collection. It's so sweet and perfect for any little girl. I'll just quickly show you a sneaky peek of the boxes. But um, if you keep um, watching this video, you'll see how I made the boxes and also the lovely tea set that's inside. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and please leave any comments or questions in the box below. And thanks for watching and hope you enjoy. So here is the tea set as it starts off. It's a little mini um, porcelain tea set. It comes with um, little paints and a paintbrush for um, kids because I purchased it from the kids section. Um, it only cost eight euro, which is about uh, twelve dollars. And it comes. It is lovely porcelain, and it comes with four little plates and four bigger size plates. Four little cups, um, milk, sugar and a little teapot. So um, I won't be using these paints um, for today, but I'm going to go and get my own paint. Um, I'm just going to use some acrylic paints. So I need to go to find some to match my lovely botanical tea um, papers. And I'm going to go and get my paints and then I'll be back to show you which colours I'm going to use. Okay, so the three colours I picked for my stash, um, they're all the Ducraft Artiste acrylic paints. So the first one is the blue, it's baby blue. The pink is Dusty Rose and the green is um, Avocado. You can just see that there. So there are the three colours I'm going to use and I'm going to go ahead now and paint um, the pieces of the tea set and I'll be back to show you. Okay, so I just want to do a quick um, show of the pieces now that I've um, painted them with the paint. So I've painted a selection of them with the pink, the green and then the blue. And now what I'm going to do is uh, Mod Podge them to seal on the paint and then add some um, paper pieces from the Botanical Tea Collection. And then I'll be back to show you how it's looking. So this is the finished tea set. And what I've done is I've added bits of paper. Um, some of them are from the banners, the cardstock banner sheet, and some of them are just cut, fussy cut from 12 by 12 papers. So um, I added them and then I also coated everything with the Mod Podge. I give it two layers just to make sure it's nice and sturdy. And what you can see is, I'll just show you, the little bird and the butterflies on these green section, they're all from the banner sheet. And the, also these little circles um, are from the banner sheet that is in the bottom of the little teacups. I fussy cut this little butterfly and um, flower from the 12 by 12 papers. And also I fussy cut these four flowers um, from the 12 by 12 papers for the bigger plates. And then this guy, little birdie, is also from the banner sheet. So he's on the milk jug. So that's what the tea set looks like. So now I'm going to go and make some boxes to hold the tea set and I'll be back to show you. So in my stash I had these um, stacking boxes and they're by Do Crafts and they were just plain craft and what I've done is I've painted them in the green, the blue and the pink the same that matches the tea set. Um, as you can see I've left the sides bare where I'm going to just decorate them. I'll show you when they're decorated after but I just want to show you them first. And these all stack together and I'll be able to Divide up the tea set and have it in a nice display, um, like so. So I'm going to go ahead now and just decorate the sides and the maybe the tops, and then I'll be back to show you. So I'm back with the boxes, and this is the first one, the bottom box, the largest one. And around the edge, just to show you, you can see I've cut some of the 12 by 12 passion paper. And also from the 12 by 12 sheet that has the um, banner pieces, I cut out this tea party banner. Then I have this lovely chipboard um, birdie 
and then on that side on either side I have one of the shabby chic um, door pulls that came from this packet you get two in a packet and they're this lovely new um, the whitewashed ones so I have one on either side like handles that my um, daughter can hold and then on the lid I've added some embroidery um, lace this is from my Jennings 644 haul and then on top you can see again I just cut a circle um, from the 12 by 12 papers I added this blue doily that I had in my stash that matched nicely with the paper and I also fussy cut a big one of the pink roses that matches the smaller ones I cut that are on the plates inside and also um, I fussy cut um, one of the butterflies from the sheets that's the biggest um, box so the next box that goes on top of that one is this guy and again from the 12 by 12 banner sheet i cut out these lovely bird postage stamps again some lace from jennings 644 on top a circle of green paper that was from the 12 by 12 a kind of reddish pink um doily again for my stash from the same package the blue one came in and this i just fussy cut from the 12 by 12 sheet is the botanical tea with the little butterfly that's the middle um, box and the very top box then the smallest one is this guy and um, the green sheet here on the edge is from 12 by 12 then some of the banner piece of paper um, a smaller thinner piece of lace around the lid here and then chipboard pieces on top this little chipboard frame chipboard tag with some lace put through it and um, a little fussy cut butterfly that I've just kind of popped up on top so those are the three, move over here. Those are the three boxes all decorated. I actually have the tea set inside. So I'm just gonna stack them up and I'll take some photographs and show you um, next.